Hey guys and welcome back to part 6 of Let's Play Oddworld Abe's Exodus and Wolf Dogs 593 and in the last video we left off um, we've done just over halfway through the Paramite section which is the the Mudomo Mudomo, Mudomo vaults even can't speak today um, so yeah we've just gone through half of them uh, we just need to finish these off and then it should be us finish this section just adjusting my volume here a bit. Ah yes, this one. Oops. This one's given me quite a few problems in the past and will probably again give me quite a few problems today, but just have to see how it goes. Yeah, let's stop that. Me. I you press the wrong button there. And I'm going to bring him right back here. That's the easy bit of the level done. This is the hard part. You have to be able to, basically, as you run here, you have to stop exactly on this one spot. If you do it any other way, you're either going to, you're not going to be beside the cage in time to hit it. So. Say, and this is what I mean. Right. Um. No. Nope. Right. I'll try that one again. There's probably an easier way of doing this, but. Oh, he just got me. <laughs> it may take me a few attempts, but I'll get there eventually. So it's not that bad. There we go. And yes, I am quick saving each time. Just means that you don't have to keep watching me if I die over and over again. Just makes it one semi smooth take. And there we go. Last level. And then we've got the boss level, if you would, if you'd describe it that way. It's another one of those levels where you don't really use Ib at all. Yeah, follow you through. Yeah, I had to kill all these. Yeah, he's just gonna stand there. And he's dead. Take this guy instead. So yeah, um, I don't know if it's a bug or whether it's supposed to do that, but when you tell this other one to attack, 
he does he attacks about one or two leeches and then he just stops and just runs and stares at Abe the whole time. Make sure all the leeches are dead and I think that's it for this guy. So down he goes. I don't forget where I hear this fleeches from, but... Ah. And that's that one done as well. They're not too difficult, these levels. Um, as long as you know kind of what you're doing, you should be fine. And just keep using quick saves, otherwise you could get yourself stuck and make things awkward to try and get out. But more or less, most of the time it should be not too difficult. And now for the final level. Oh, get up, get up. Oh no. Damn. So yeah, you gotta have one finger on the roll, one finger on the space bar. As well as holding on the ground. It's quite an awkward thing to try and work out, but I'm still not entirely sure why he says oops at that point, but... Now I'm gonna quick save here. Normally I'd see if I can do this all in one take, but... Again, for simplicity of reasons, I'm not going to. I'm gonna get caught, I'm gonna get caught, oh no! Oh Jesus! <laughs> Left a little too close there. And then one final bit, just run and get through before they catch you. And that's that. are using your boats to make Soulstorm brew? Of course we do. That's why we need you. What could I do? You shut down Rupture Farms. You can shut down the brewery too. You want me to shut down Soulstorm Brewery? Okay, I'll be free. Don't worry. We can give you powers. Yeah, scaring powers. Yeah. You sure will. <laughs> I've been through this before. Back when I got the power to shut down Rupture Farms. That's when I first saw the creatures of Oddworld as they used to be. Before we chopped them into tasty treats. We had forgotten our past. And now it was costing us our future. And even our soul. Come on up! No one improved! Well, what is it? Don't think! Drink! Uh, my... Ah, uh... uh, come on! Do it! Uh, 
Ok. At first, the Gluckens gave their brew away. Oh, tasty. But once the Budakens started drinking it, they couldn't stop. Then those Gluckens told them that if they wanted to work, they could have all the brew they wanted. Only if you got a job. They fell for it. Step right up. Oh, I love his job. <laughs> Step right up. So now, the weirdos want me to destroy the brewery, but I gotta save the Budakens there first. <laughs> and I just got the power to heal Budakens sick from brew. Hurry up, always getting himself caught in trouble. Anyway, yes, so we're back here again. You may recognize this from earlier on in the game. And but this time Now we can help him. I just wanna make sure there's no final secrets in this area. Because once you leave here that you finished, you can't actually you can never come back to this section. Your Madokan friends are sick from brew. You must complete the quest of the Madokan spirits to heal them. Return here after you've completed the Mudanchi and Mudumo vaults. No worries, I've done that. Oh no, what are you doing? Wait. Okay, Let's try this again. There you go. Work. Follow you. Follow you. Follow me. Okay. And there we go. So I'm pretty sure that's me up to date with everything. And um, this is the point in the if you have the PS1 version when you go through here they ask you to switch the discs around, but she just yeah she worked normally. <laughs> On to Soul Storm Brewery. Well, not quite yet. I hate that Ab guy! Mollocks are gonna be pissed! First drops your farms, now necro mines! If he ever comes back, oh, we're screwed! Where you two see problems, I see opportunity! Now it's mine! Our turn to take over. Screw you, Aslick! You ain't running nothing! Now, now, gentle glutz. Let's not argue over who gets what. Hey! I got a career to consider! What are we gonna do about it, huh? What? I don't know, I panic. No, you idiot! We're gonna lock this place up so tight that ape guy'd have to be invisible to get in! <laughs> Alright, to the Fico Depot. And straight up the bat, secret. No, 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 don't do that. And it's gonna be awkward. Hmm. I'm just gonna do that for now. I keep running night, aren't they? Now, now. Almost having a time, come on. I'm gonna keep doing it just in case it works. One time, you never know.
come on, so close. New thing you're introducing this game, TV screens. The Magog on the March. News you need. Our main story. To prevent the renegade terrorist Mudokin, known as Abe, from possibly destroying Soulstorm Brewery, the main security gates can only be opened by direct order of high-ranking executives General Drippick, Vice President Aslick, and Director Flegg. If you have any further questions, please feel free to pull the lever to your right. It's just one of those things that the add in. Pull that, you run. There you go. Do you have any further questions? You die. You see how the gluckens work? Uncle Aslick's tourist tip. Fun with farts. Phew, look what happens when you drink brew. Fart at your own risk. Quite a strange thing, um, strange concept that they introduced to this game. Basically, your fart becomes a time bomb. If you fart normally, um, it gives you a 5 second timer before, you blow up, before it blows up, but if you possess it, it takes a little longer. You'll get used to using these a lot. Um, kind of becomes a staple thing for a while. Let's see if I can get most of these. Yeah, close enough. Bring another one with me. I'm gonna have some fun with these guys. Why not? <laughs> Just to have them running about in blind panic everywhere. Why not? I didn't seem to be bothered. Oh, there you go. 
Anyway, here we go. There's no point trying to if you bring a drink in, if you drink Soulstorm Braid and go through one of those doors that says no parts on it, it will just automatically get rid of it for you. There's nothing else you can do, so. Now you really know, I'm gonna quick save here because you only got one chance at this. Because of the fact that you close that closes up after you, but. Right. There you go. And that's just to give you a little insight of what's to come. Stand here, you can't get touched. So, and you can go up and around. As far as I'm aware, they don't come into the screen, so you should be safe once you get up here. And then this should just loop back around to this area. First I'm going to blow that up, but I'm also going to go back down below, just in case. I think there's a secret area down there somewhere, I'm just not entirely sure where. here for a bit. Nah, no, they don't go near it, it's fine. Wait. If you stand underneath this little uh, ledge bit, exactly where I am now, you can't actually be... You can't actually be uh, hit by them for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why. It's just something that, that is, I guess. Hmm. Okay, maybe not then. I thought there might have been a secret or something around here, but it doesn't look like it. Nope. <laughs> Just in case there's one little sneaky one somewhere, but no. So that's that area done. Didn't need to spend so much time in it, but better to know than not be wondering. And there we go. You'll see a lot of this, um, this area in the future. Just goes to show you different places we need to go here. Oh, there you go. Here's a complicated map for you. I don't, you don't even really need to pay attention to it. Basically, um, first off, we're going to go up to the Slig Barracks and Bone Works, and then later on, you'll go to the FICO Executive Office, and then lastly, Soulstorm Brew. And then obviously, there's Rupture Farms there, but it's been taken off the list, so. Mid Arkham Spot and Guide. Um, we've seen this before. Seen this before. Oh. Give us a nice little reminder there just in case you've forgotten.
You just need to give you more than enough, than you or more than you need, really. Just in case you were to mess up somehow or another, but... It should be fine mostly, most of the time. Get all them. I'm actually gonna get one more and send it up. Let's see if I can get there in time. Going along the bone works. There you go. And no matter what way you choose, you won't be able to bring a you're not able to go bring a fart in anyway. So snake bars and bone works. Um I think it's the slig barks that I don't like and therefore I'm gonna do that one first. Just so I can get out of the way. Let's see what this says first. There you go, Uncle Oslik's tur tourist tip three. Don't miss, don't miss the slig barracks commended by the one and only General Drupik. It's not just a destination, it's an adventure. Yeah, there you go. Of course I did. Of course I did. So there you go, probably the most harmless place in the game and I get killed. Oh, it took me two seconds to redo this anyway. Actually, considering I'm doing the slig barracks first, I don't need to get rid of that other slig because it's just going to keep coming back. So, first, you go into this one. And you'll appear in the background here. There's only one, reason, only one thing you need to do here is to turn that off. It's just something annoying that they threw in because <clears throat> if you went the normal way, you would have come out there, gone round, and then realise you've messed it up and have to go back, so... Shouldn't be doing that. I believe this pipe only sends you back up again. I'll find out anyway. Yep. So we can then come back through, make their pass. There we go. No turning back now. Uncle Alex Turps. Tourist tip six. Only slicks can use slick voice locks. Kinda makes sense. And I'll just check the time there. This um yeah, this seems to be a good time to leave it. So when we come back we'll be doing the slick barracks. And I probably will be at this for a while, so I'm not gonna be going to the boneworks anytime soon. So I hope you've liked this so far and I'll see you next time.